Cattle farming in warm regions has its challenges, the most common being parasites and how to control them. Ah, Joseph. Yeah. Wow, very nice cows. Good. It must be quite a challenge ah, feeding very them. Very big challenge. Very big challenge. Okay, come with me. There's an expert waiting for you to talk to you about how to feed them. So, exactly. You, yes, let's go meet him. Yeah. Come on. Let's go. Joseph's pride and joy is his cattle. But these come with a lot of challenges. We have called in David from CKL Africa to help him manage this better. The cows that you keep here, what do you keep them for? Mainly for beef. So you Collect. usually sell your cows? I usually sell my cows. Any challenges so far? To get the feed here is a big problem because scarcity of rain. So you can't get the grass to feed the cattle in an easy way. When because was you must go uh -huh. very far. Secondly, diseases. There are these diseases caused by ticks, sesse fly. How has those two challenges affected your cows? Let's start with the feeds. The feeds here, they have made me to get maybe low yield. The cows, if you bring maybe somebody to, to buy, yes. they cannot buy to the right price sure. because the animal itself doesn't look good does at not all. Good, good at all. In case of the diseases, that's same thing. Have you lost any cows to diseases? Yeah. Some three months to four months ago, I lost one cow here. Very good one. Oh, that's not good. And it was a kind of a disease. In these diseases, sometimes myself, I have a small knowledge. I used to go to the chemist there, I buy some drugs, and I came and treat them myself. Because sometimes, uh, even myself, I, I can think this cow may have a certain disease, or the way I see it. And you inject them yourself? Yeah, myself. So you also if the, <laughs> if the disease comes so critical, yes. it is the time I go, I consult a, a veterinary, so I save something. <laughs> is that advisable? It is not advisable, uh, Tony, yeah. because the first thing you can do what we call a, a wrong diagnosis. Mm, I do guesswork. Yeah, you just do <laughs> guesswork. That's yeah. why you are saying you treat, uh, then after it doesn't recover, yeah, it does not recover, you call a vet. Always advisable. When you see some symptoms in, in your animal, consult a vet. From looking at them, yes. what can you tell us? Their body condition is not very good. You can see the cows are doing a lot of wastage. It's always advisable you cut into small pieces and feed the animals. Mm. Yeah. When the feeding is correct, even the incidences of diseases will be low. Oh, how about water? All these animals are not able to access water. You should ensure that whenever they are feeding, they can access water freely. What kind of nutrients should the cows get? The first thing is about the quality of the grass, then again about the concentrates. You can give maize jam to the cattle. You can also give supplements, include mineral supplements and other supplements which normally assist in digestion. Exactly. Yes. So do you use any minerals, any nutrients for your cows? No. Uh, we normally have uh, salt specifically oh. for beef animals. This one is called the uh, maklik beef. Ah. This one has got all the elements which the beef animals require well for their well-being of their bodies. You can give it as a free choice where the animals have a space where they go and lick the salt to their satisfaction. Ah. When giving maklik beef, pour a good amount in a salt trough or cut bucket and allow the animal to lick to its satisfaction. Okay, let's deal with the next challenge. Yes. Parasites. By the look of the skin, you can see that the air is raised. So that should tell you that... Uh, there is some, something wrong. Yes, it, it needs uh, some deworming. So normally deworming should be done after every three months. For calves between one to six months, deworm every month. For calves above six months, deworm every three months. So whenever you are deworming, it's very key and it's very good to know the weight of the animal. Mm. Yes, yes. Joseph. How can you know the weight of this cow? Maybe I just guesswork. Maybe 200 kg. David, how can a farmer know the correct weight for this animal? We have a tape measure called a wind band. So you will find there is a scale for the beef animals and there is a scale for the dairy animals. So you normally tie the wind band around the girth. You read the scale. So in that case, you'll be able to know the correct dosage of the dioma you are giving it. And even when it comes to selling your animal, 
you know, the live weight of the animal. The animal. Yes. Mm -hmm. That's good. When you are doing deworming, we normally advise farmers to use nils and plus. Oh, nils and plus. Yes. For nils and plus, you get the body weight of the animal, you divide by two to get the amount of dosage of the of nils and plus which will give to the animal. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes. Remember, when giving nils and plus for deworming, get the weight of the animal, divide that number by two, and you'll get the milliliters you should give. If it's 200 kilos, divide by two, you get 100. Give the animals 100 milliliters of nils and plus. The people here which are buying across us here, they come and weigh the cow with ice. If they come here at my farm now, I take the band, now put it at the shoulder of the, of the cow and tell, I say, mister, this, my cow weighs 250. So let's now start bargaining from here. With the expert's advice, a shape up was needed and we added some feed troughs and salt buckets. The cows now have water troughs and a constant supply of salt.